Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I know it's been a while since I've been up here. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore. And yes, I've cut off all my hair. <laughs> Too hot for hair. But I want to say this. Never lose faith in God. Never lose faith in God. Never. The thing is, is that sometimes we have to go through things in order for him to give us a new start, a new beginning, a new a new refreshing. As Miss uh, Lorraine Whitfield um, spoke earlier this morning, if you watched her broadcast. And the thing is, God has given me a new beginning. Good morning, good morning. How are y'all doing this morning? Um, the new beginning starts with a new place to stay. Praise the Lord. Got a, I got a new place to stay. And I got another job. And the, and see, this is how God, God works, right? He places specific people in your life for the new beginning. And when you have the new beginning, God wants to sometimes separate you from the old stuff, the old things that you do. And right now... It's raining, but it is it is a new beginning, a new refreshing. And the thing is that God wants us to wants us to come come to Him completely and honestly and lay it all on a table, lay it all before Him, and that's what we have to do. So, 180 is a woman's shelter. And it is my new home. It's in Edenborn. Okay? So my thing is, is that sometimes, it's in the country. This is what we look at in the morning. If you see behind me, this is what we look at in the morning. This is what we look at in the morning. This is the building. It's in Edenborn, and, and it's marvelous. It's, it's fully furnished. It is everything. And I want to thank, I want to thank. I want to thank everyone that helped with the new beginning in my life. From Pastor Josephine Thompson and Alfred Thompson, my leaders, for um, for just being there when I need them. Sometimes, like I said, God puts people in your life to start you over, to start anew. And the new is marvelous. Marvelous. If you just let God have control, you'll be fine. If you just give it to him, you'll be fine. Stop stressing. And that's what I was doing. I was stressing and I, and I got depressed and I got weary and I got, you know, worn, kind of worn. But the thing is, we have to keep pressing forward. And a closed mouth does not get fed. A closed mouth does not get fed. If you are in need of help, ask somebody. You never know who's listening. You never know who God will touch to help you. Like I said, new beginnings is always good. It's always had good to have new beginnings. Mm, mm, mm. So <clears throat> I want to thank everyone that helped. If you're watching this broadcast, trust God. Trust God in all that you do. Trust him. Trust him all that you do. Oh, God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As I look back over my life and see where I have been, Jesus, I praise you that I'm not stuck in sin. Good morning, Pastor Powell. Uh, but way down in my spirit, one praise is not enough. So I lift my hands and give you praise for everything you've done. Hallelujah.
how you doing? I know that's right. I know that's right, Elder Powell. I know that's right. Because it was just this thing, and God laid the right people at the right time, at the right moment. God, he's so wonderful. He is so, he is so wonderful, so wonderful. And I want to say, everybody, I want to tell everybody, look, never give up on your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations, your desires. Never give up on, on things, because if you lay them at God's feet, he will lead you in due time and due season for a process of new beginnings. I want to thank, like I said, I want to thank Pastor Alfred and Josephine Thompson. I want to thank, um, I want to thank so many people for keeping me in prayer. Keep me in prayer. I will keep you in prayer. We, we pray for each other. We got to pray for each other. You know, we got to pray for each other. Got to pray. 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 Because sometimes we think that no one is listening, but God is listening. God is always listening. So, new job, new place to stay, and God is so wonderful. God is so, so wonderful, so wonderful. I want to thank Daryl and, um, oh my goodness, Daryl and, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, um, 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 I can't think of his wife's name right now. But they, they own this place called 180. And 180 is a place for, it's a women's shelter. It's a women's shelter. But God has, God has opened their hearts to allow me to work here and stay here. And I work night shift. So God, is get, God gets all the glory this morning. God gets all the glory. 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 And we want to thank God for all that he does and all that he's going to do. So be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. God has is, God is, God is got us going in different places. God has got us starting over again. Don't be scared. Don't be weary. Just step out on faith and what God is about to do in your life. I know. I, I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from, from knowledge. I'm speaking from the heart. God will give you the, desire, the, the desires of your heart. So I want to wish y'all all, 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 all. I want to, I want to wish all y'all. I want to pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we come to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see another day, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to have a, a new breath in our body and a new beginning. And, a, and, and we have the activity of our limbs, Lord, and we, have, we are in our right minds right now, Lord. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hello, Yasmin. How you doing? We want to thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us, Lord. No matter what it looked like, Lord, you had it all in control. You had it all in control. We know that you are Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. God, can't nobody do us like you, Lord. Can't nobody love us like you, Lord. Can't nobody carry us like you, Lord. We want to say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. So, God, we say, God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, Lord. God, God, we want to, we won't change, but we sometimes we just don't know where to start, but we know we got to start with you, Lord. Lord, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. God, give us the courage to change the things that we can, and God, please give us some wisdom just for the day. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say amen. I want to say I love y'all, and... <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna get back, get back to, get back to what God has asked me to do. So I love y'all. And hey, Danita, how you doing? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? Hi, babies. Yes, God has given us a new beginning, and we want to step out there on faith and keep walking in the newness of God. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all later. Have a nice day. Bye, babies. <laughs>